In this video, I'll show you how to display your product variation as a single product on a shop page in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and we're currently showing our variations as a single product on our shop page. Okay, so this is a separate variation and so is this one and this one. And here it looks so natural that you just think it's a standard product. So here we've got the Adidas Yeezy slides in black. We've got it here in brown and cream and then we can just quickly add it to cart or if we click on the product, it'll take us over to the main parent product page with the variation automatically selected. Okay, so the customer can just quickly add it to cart if they want. So if you want to create a similar experience on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite show variation on shop page plugin. Once you've done so, let's head over to our dashboard and I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the plugin, the next step is just to go ahead and upload the plugin. So you go plugins, add new. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Activate your license key, then it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section where you can enable the show show variation on shop page plugin. Okay, so I've just enabled it here. Now we can click manage to customize our variation single product heading. Okay, so I'm just going to click manage here. Okay, so for our single variation title, we've got three options here. So one, we can inherit the parent title name. And what that means is, let's say, for example, um, this product, which I'm currently setting up, I'm going to have three variants of this particular product, one in black, um, cream, and I think brown. So when we're displaying those individual variation as their own separate product, then it will basically just have the parent name, which is this main name here. And then if we choose to append the variation attributes, so in this case, it will show added as Yeezy slides and then it will basically append the variation to it. So in this case, it will say cream, for example. OK, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this option here so we can customize the title a bit more. So it makes more sense to our customers. OK, so product name is so this we can copy these short codes here. So we've got two short codes to work with. So we've got um, product which is basically the product name. And then we've got variation, which is basically the variation name as well. Okay, so it's just brackets, product, and then close bracket. Okay, and then I've just put in. Okay, and then I've just put this variation short code here as well. Okay, so hopefully it should read. Adidas Yeezy slides in black, Adidas Yeezy slides in um, cream, and so on. Okay, so you can customize um, how it will appear on the shop page. So I'm going to save changes and then we'll just go ahead and finish setting up our variable product. OK, so we've just got our variable product um, name. We've got a main image. Um, I'm going to create a new category as well. Let's just type in shoes. OK, and then for the product data, I've selected variable product and then let's go ahead and create our attributes. So I'm going to go ahead and select color. So I've already created these attributes on a global level. So that's why we're seeing it here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and enter in the attributes in which we want. So we want um, the black variant, um, brown variant, and also the cream variant. And then we're going to go ahead and select use as variation, save attributes. Okay, and then when we go to variation, we can go ahead and create, we can create the variation based on our attributes. And it's been added fine, so that's great. And then for this black variant, I'm going to go ahead and add an image. And I'm going to also add a price. We can also add a description as well. So you can add a unique description for this particular um, variant. You can also customize the title even further as well. But I've just created it on a global level um, to save you having to do this for each product. OK, so it's got a basic structure. Um, again, for the brown, I'm going to go ahead and select the image. For the price, this one will be a bit more expensive. Um, green. Uh, okay, so I accidentally selected green. This should have been cream. <laughs> so we're going to actually pretend this is cream. Okay, so we're going back and editing it. Okay, and we'll say 95 for this one. Then we'll just click save changes. That saved fine. So we'll go ahead and update this. Okay, then view product. Okay, so this is our variable product. And then now we just need to go ahead and enable 
the ability to show these individual variations on a shop page. So if we click on the shoe category here, currently it will just show the one product since we haven't enabled that option yet. So let's go ahead and enable the option. So let's head back over to this product page. Okay, and let's go ahead and edit the product. Okay, and then we'll navigate to variations. When we click on a variant, we've got some extra options here. Okay, so we've got show in search results, show in filtered results and show in the catalog. Okay, and we can select these for all our variants or we can actually go ahead and um, bulk select it here. Okay, so where it says visibility, we can go ahead and click show in search results and then we can click go and then that will apply this to all our variants. Okay, and that's done. So here we can see it's been enabled for this one and then we'll just enable show in catalog. Yep, and as you can see show in catalog is displaying just fine. Okay, so we'll just click update. Okay, and now when we visit our shop page, when we refresh this page, we should be able to see the individual um, variations. Okay, so let's just refresh this page. So we can see our Adidas Yeezy slide in black, and here we can see it in brown, and here we can see it in green. Okay, and this makes for a much more user-friendly experience. So as you can imagine, if a customer's um, browsing your site and they wanna purchase, let's say, um, two different trainers, for example, two different styles. They'd have to click on this product page, um, click through the different um, variations to see the image, to see if they actually like it. Um, whereas here, whilst they're on the shop page, it can just quickly and see the different styles and colorways in which you've got. And then once they're happy, they can just quickly add it to cart or click over to the product and it will automatically select that variation. Okay, so when we clicked um, here, as you can see, it's automatically um, applied the green variation and then the customer can just quickly add it to cart. So it's a much more streamlined user experience. And that's how you show a variation on a shop page as a single product in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.